Okay, so we're gonna work on some footage. Footage from one of these old high eight tapes. If you remember these from a camcorder, we're gonna take the footage, we're gonna take it into Sony Vegas, and we're trying to enhance the image as well as the audio. And we're gonna jump into a tutorial right now. So the first thing we have here is to show footage. You, know, you brought it all in, and we're gonna put it on the timeline. So we're just gonna click and hold, and then drop it into. Uh, you well, I usually say no to this because I'm going to output it to the format that I need to. And first thing I want to do with this footage is let's work on the image itself. Now you can see that the color is a bit different here so let's work on that. So let's go into, you go to the end here and it's not this icon here, it's this icon right here. You're going to click on that. Right, what you want to look for is Sony white balance. Click on that. You want to hit add. You want to hit OK. And that's going to open up this part right here. Uh, usually you can mess with it on your own here, but we're going to do select white color. And uh, we know that these walls are white, so we're going to click this. And you see immediately there's a difference. Let's close this out. You can tell that it looks different from what it was. And then we can even. Uh, do a little preview so you can see what it looks like. You see the difference from here to here. Um, so yeah, it's it's a big difference. You can even see it right there. Okay, so the next thing we want to do to just enhance the image a little bit more, let's go into the chain here and we're going to add another one. So we did the white balance. Let's add another one. Let's add something that I like to use is curves. So we're going to use color curves. We're going to hit add. We're going to hit OK. And these curves, you're just gonna wanna grab this here. You just wanna bring it up a little bit, just a little bit. And then we're gonna take this bottom one and we're gonna bring it down just slightly, just down slightly. And that just adds just a little bit of contrast. Now let's take a look. See the image there, and if we go further so we can see it a little bit more up close, you can see how it's changed. And uh, we can even do this so you can see the difference already with that all right so now that that's there the next thing we want to do is enhance the audio now we got our image let's work on the audio now I'm gonna I'm not gonna play the audio now I'm gonna do a before and after scene and then so you can hear it but what you want to do is like well let's just play a little bit of <laughs> First thing we want to do is again we're going to go down here this time in the audio section. We're going to open up our choices, right? So the first thing we want to do is we want to add a noise gate. So let's add a noise gate. Let's add that. I'm going to hit OK. And here's our noise gate. Now you can just leave it as is. I'm just going to bring it up just slightly, not too much, just a little bit like that. So that's our noise gate, okay? And then the next thing I want to do is we want to add some EQ to this. So we want to go up here, click on the chain. Uh, what I like to use is a graphic EQ, right? And let's, and let's add that and hit OK, and it's going to open up the graphic EQ. I want to do a 10 band. So let's do a 10 band EQ. Now, normally what I do is start right in the middle and bring down the mid tones, right? You can see here, I'm bringing it down. Here we go, bring it down like this. And now I'm just taking down the bass so it's not too loud, it's not super loud. And here, all your, this side is all your high, so let's take down the high frequencies a little bit because they don't need to be so high like this. Just a little bit. Bring that down, bring that down a little bit. We don't want to mess with this, we can just leave it as is. Um, but now let's let's listen to it. We're gonna, a little, we're gonna add a little bit more. Let's add a compression. So three things: noise gate, graphic EQ, and now we're gonna add a little bit of compression. Um, so what I like to try out. This is graphic dynamics. It's something uh, different than I'm trying out. It's, it's not compression, but it's similar so let's uh add this hit okay okay now
now you see this um, what I'd like to do is take this down here and bring it down just slightly so you don't want to add too much and then the output came because it's so loud we're gonna bring it down here okay now let's listen to it again <laughs> And that's it. That's basically all I'm going to do here uh, as far as I'm going to go. Uh, you can probably do a little bit more if you wanted to, but that's just an overview of what I've done to this video. And uh, you're gonna, you've probably already seen it. It's probably uploaded now to YouTube. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the side-by-side -side comparison so you can see the image. And then the side-by-side -side comparison so you can hear the difference from what it was to how it is now.